In the world of entertainment, James Darren is a name that stands out. Born on June 8, 1936, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Darren began his journey in the entertainment industry at a young age. He started as a singer, releasing his first hit single, Gidget, in 1961. But it was his acting skills that truly set him apart. Darren's breakthrough role came in 1959 when he starred as Moondoggy in the classic film Gidget. He went on to appear in numerous films throughout the 1960s, including The Guns of Navarone and Diamond Head. In the 1970s, Darren transitioned to television, appearing in popular shows such as The Love Boat and Mission Impossible. One of Darren's most memorable roles was as Officer Jim Corrigan in the classic television series T.J. Hooker, which aired from 1982 to 1986. His portrayal of a tough yet compassionate police officer resonated with audiences and cemented his place as a beloved television star. In addition to his work in film and television, Darren has also had a successful career as a recording artist. He has released numerous albums throughout his career, showcasing his smooth vocals and versatile musical style. Throughout his career, James Darren has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. His talent, dedication, and versatility have earned him a place as a true Hollywood icon. James Darren is an actor who has made a name for himself in the entertainment industry. He has been active for several decades and has appeared in numerous films and TV shows. His work includes roles in movies like Gidget and The Guns of Navarone, as well as TV shows such as Star Trek and TJ Hooker. One thing that sets James Darren apart from his contemporaries is his ability to adapt to different genres and roles. He has played everything from a surfer to a space traveler, and has done so with apparent ease and charisma. When was the first time you recognized James Darren? Was it in one of his early films, or perhaps in a later TV show? No matter when it was, it's likely that his talent and charm left a lasting impression. Do you have a cherished memory or personal experience related to James Darren? Maybe you met him at a fan convention, or saw him perform live in concert. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. As we continue to explore the life and career of James Darren, we'll share many funny, shocking, and sad facts about this classic star. So keep watching to learn more. Born James Ercolani in 1936, the actor James Darren was raised in a close-knit Italian family in Philadelphia. His father, a barber, and his mother, a seamstress, instilled in him the value of hard work and determination. As a child, Darren developed a love for music and performing, often singing at family gatherings. Darren's big break came when he was discovered by a talent agent while working as an usher in a movie theater. This chance encounter led to a contract with Columbia Pictures and a new name, James Darren. In the early years of his career, Darren was heavily influenced by classic Hollywood stars such as Tony Curtis and Frank Sinatra. He was particularly drawn to their charisma and suave on-screen personas. Darren's early roles in films such as Gidget and The Guns of Navarone showcased his good looks and charm, earning him a legion of fans. Throughout his career, Darren has had the opportunity to work with and learn from many industry greats. He has spoken fondly of his time working with director Blake Edwards on the film The Party, citing Edwards as a mentor and a major influence on his career. In addition to his work in film, Darren has also enjoyed a successful career in music, releasing several albums and having several hit singles. He has credited singers such as Dean Martin and Elvis Presley as influences on his music. Despite his many accomplishments, Darren remains humble and grateful for the opportunities he has had. He has said that he feels fortunate to have been able to pursue his passions and make a living doing what he loves. With a career spanning over six decades, James Darren's impact on the entertainment industry is undeniable. James Darren was born on June 8, 1936, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The son of a steel mill worker, he had a humble upbringing. As a young boy, he developed an interest in music and performing, which would eventually shape his career. Darren's family moved to New York when he was a teenager, where he began performing in local clubs. He was discovered by a talent agent and soon landed a recording contract with Columbia Records. In the early 1960s, he released several successful singles, including Goodbye Cruel World and Conscience. However, it was Darren's acting career that truly took off. He made his film debut in 1956 in The Guy He Used to Know. He went on to appear in numerous films throughout the 1950s and 1960s, including Gidget and The Guns of Navarone. In the 1970s, Darren transitioned to television, appearing in several popular shows, such as The Love Boat and Mission Impossible. 
He also starred in his own show, T.J. Hooker, alongside William Shatner. Throughout his career, Darren has continued to pursue his passion for music. He has released several albums and has performed in concerts around the world. Darren's early life experiences, from his humble beginnings in Philadelphia to his rise to fame in Hollywood, have shaped his career and cemented his place as a classic Hollywood star. His talent and versatility have allowed him to excel in both music and acting, making him a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. As a young boy, James Darren was captivated by the magic of cinema. He would often sneak into movie theaters, mesmerized by the enchanting stories that unfolded on the big screen. One day, while watching a swashbuckling adventure, he found himself completely enthralled by the dashing leading man. In that moment, a spark ignited within him. He wanted to be an actor. Darren's passion for acting only grew stronger as he got older. During his high school years, he participated in various drama clubs and productions, always eager to hone his craft. His natural talent and charisma were undeniable, and he quickly became a standout performer. A significant turning point in Darren's career came when he was discovered by a talent agent. This chance encounter led to a screen test for a major film studio, where Darren's raw talent and undeniable charm shone through. He landed the role, and his career as a leading man in Hollywood was underway. Throughout his career, Darren has remained dedicated to his craft, always pushing himself to deliver the best performance possible. His passion for acting has remained steadfast, and he continues to inspire and captivate audiences with his powerful performances in film and television. In 1961, James Darren took on the role of Private Spyros Papadimos in the war film The Guns of Navarone, aiming to distance himself from his teen idol image. However, that same year, the sequel to Gidget was released, featuring Darren as Moondoggy. Later, Darren joined the cast of T.J. Hooker as Officer Jim Corrigan, marking a change in the show's lineup. His first appearance as Corrigan was in T.J. Hooker Payday Pirates, although he had previously appeared as a different character in T.J. Hooker King of the Hill. Darren also appeared in The Terminator, which was filmed during the same period that T.J. Hooker Deadlock aired. Interestingly, Darren's stage name adopted in 1959 was inspired by a popular 1950s automobile. In T.J. Hooker, Darren's character, Jim Corrigan, became paraplegic, as revealed in T.J. Hooker the Lipstick Killer. Meanwhile, Fran Hooker, played by April Clough, relocated to Oregon, as mentioned in T.J. Hooker the Ransom. Heather Locklear joined the cast in T.J. Hooker Second Chance, which happened to be her 21st birthday. Sadly, Captain Sheridan, portrayed by Richard Hurd, made his final appearance in T.J. Hooker, Anatomy of a Killing. James Darren's career has been marked by notable roles in both film and television, solidifying his place as a respected figure in the industry. His ability to transition between genres and maintain a strong presence on screen has made him a memorable and enduring figure in the world of entertainment. Despite the challenges he faced in breaking away from his initial image, Darren's dedication and talent have carried him through to become a beloved and respected actor. James Darren, a talented actor, faced numerous challenges early in his career. Born on June 8, 1936, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Darren's family struggled financially. Despite these hardships, he pursued his passion for acting, displaying remarkable resilience. Darren's journey to Hollywood was not an easy one. He started as a singer in local clubs before landing minor roles in films. However, industry skepticism was rife, with many doubting his acting abilities. Darren, undeterred, continued to hone his craft, taking on various roles to gain experience. One significant hurdle Darren faced was typecasting. After his breakout role in the film Gidget, he was often offered similar roles, limiting his creative growth. However, Darren demonstrated adaptability by accepting roles in different genres, such as science fiction in the time tunnel and crime dramas like T.J. Hooker. Additionally, Darren faced challenges in transitioning from television to film and vice versa. The differences in format and acting style required him to be versatile, which he achieved through continuous learning and practice. In conclusion, James Darren's career is a testament to his resilience and adaptability in the face of adversity. His ability to overcome financial struggles, industry skepticism, typecasting, and transitions between mediums has solidified his place as a respected figure in the entertainment industry. After not initially being considered for the role of Moondoggy and Gidget due to his lack of singing experience, James Darren proved the studio wrong. He recorded a single on his own and, once cast, became a major teen idol, reprising his role in Gidget Goes Hawaiian and Gidget Goes to Rome. 
And because they're young, Darren played a singer. But it was Duane Eddy who performed the hit instrumental version of the title song. Darren's version, with lyrics by Aaron Schroeder and Wally Gold, was used for the opening credits. The film marked a departure for Eddy, as his twang guitar style was combined with string orchestration, resulting in one of his biggest hits. Despite having fewer than 10 lines of dialogue in The Guns of Navarone, Darren made an impact as Spyros Papademos. His first line, watch out, came during the scene with Nikolai, the laundry boy. In the early stages of his career, James Darren's breakthrough moment came with his role in the 1959 film Gidget. His portrayal of Moondoggy, a surfer, and the love interest of the title character, captivated audiences and made him an instant heartthrob. This classic film not only launched his career, but also solidified his status as a teen idol. A few years later, in 1961, Darren showcased his singing talents in the film Guns of Navarone. His rendition of the song Moon River became a massive hit and demonstrated his versatility as an entertainer. This breakthrough performance led to further opportunities in both acting and music. In the late 1970s, Darren experienced another turning point when he was cast as Officer Jim Corrigan in the popular television series T.J. Hooker. This classic show ran for five seasons and allowed Darren to work alongside notable actors such as William Shatner. His performance as a seasoned police officer was well received and added depth to his career as an actor. Throughout his career, James Darren has continued to leave his mark in the entertainment industry. His ability to adapt to various roles and mediums has solidified his status as a respected and enduring figure in the world of show business. Peers, critics, and collaborators alike have praised his contributions and continue to be intrigued by his captivating performances. In the 1970s, the actor James Darren embarked on a musical journey, touring the country as a singer with comedian Buddy Hackett. Before that, he had already made a name for himself in the acting world, including a notable role in the classic series T.J. Hooker. Interestingly, T.J. Hooker had several connections to the Star Trek franchise. For instance, Vic Tabak, who starred in T.J. Hooker Bigfoot, also appeared in Star Trek A Piece of the Action. Gary Graham, who starred in Star Trek Voyager Cold Fire, also had a role in T.J. Hooker Bigfoot, with a character sharing the same last name as Admiral Forrest from Star Trek Enterprise. Ike Eisenman, who appeared in T.J. Hooker The Runners, also starred in Star Trek II The Wrath of Ken. Leonard Nimoy, who played Spock in the original Star Trek, also had a role in T.J. Hooker Vengeance is Mine. Other Star Trek actors who appeared in T.J. Hooker include Percy Rodriguez, Mark Alamo, Ray Wise, Miguel Ferrer, Gary Lockwood, Jonathan Goldsmith, Marcy Lafferty, Robert Hooks, Robert O'Reilly, Richard Hurd, and Thalmus Rasalala. In his personal life, James Darren was married twice. His first wife, Gloria Terlitsky, was a childhood sweetheart, and they had a son named Jim Moray. After their divorce, Darren married Evie Norland, Miss Denmark of 1958, and had two sons, Christian and Anthony, with her. James Darren, an actor who gained fame in the late 1950s and 1960s, is known for his unique approach to his work. He once said, I've always believed that an actor should be able to play any role, as long as they can connect with the character's emotions and experiences. This philosophy is reflected in Darren's diverse body of work, which includes roles in films such as Gidget and The Guns of Navarone, as well as television shows like The Time Tunnel and T.J. Hooker. Despite the varying genres and formats of these projects, Darren brought a consistent level of intensity and vulnerability to his performances. Darren's personal experiences and worldview also played a significant role in shaping his artistic vision. Growing up in a working-class family in New York City, he developed a deep empathy for underdog characters and a commitment to portraying them with authenticity and respect. In addition, Darren's background in music influenced his approach to acting. He often drew upon his musical training to bring a rhythmic and intuitive quality to his performances, using his voice and body language to convey the subtlest of emotions. Overall, James Darren's artistic vision and process were characterized by his versatility, emotional depth, and commitment to authenticity. His work continues to resonate with audiences today, serving as a testament to his enduring talent and impact on the world of entertainment. In the film, The Guns of Navarone, James Darren, playing the role of Spyros Papademos, can be heard singing Yalo 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 at a wedding celebration. Interestingly, the second verse of this Greek folk song was improvised by Darren himself during the production. This unexpected contribution came about as the film's production coordinator, Daniel Burla, 
attempted to secure an affidavit from the Greek government certifying the song's public domain status. However, due to an error, Borla was mistakenly listed as the song's author, leading him to release the song for use and add an additional verse featuring the name Anala, his girlfriend at the time. Simultaneously, Darren was on his honeymoon during the filming of The Guns of Navarone. His casting as Moondoggy in Columbia Pictures' Gidget was initially uncertain due to his lack of singing experience. However, after cutting a single with Culpix Records, which became a chart topper, he was given the role, despite his inability to surf and weak swimming skills. This decision propelled him to teen idol status, and he reprised the Moondoggy role in Gidget Goes Hawaiian and Gidget Goes to Rome, alongside three different Gidgets Sandra D, Deborah Wally, and Cindy Carroll. James Darren, an actor who gained fame in the late 1950s and 1960s, is best known for his roles in films like Gidget and Gidget Goes Hawaiian, as well as the TV series The Time Tunnel. His charisma and good looks made him a heartthrob for many teenagers during that era. Darren's influence can be seen in the way he brought a certain coolness and charm to his roles, which was a departure from the traditional leading men of the time. He was one of the first actors to successfully make the transition from movies to television, paving the way for future stars to do the same. In the time tunnel, Darren played the role of a scientist and time traveler, which was a departure from his previous roles as a surfer and a singer. This showed his versatility as an actor and his willingness to take on new challenges. According to film and television historian Wheeler Winston Dixon, James Darren was a trailblazer in many ways. He brought a new kind of masculinity to the screen, one that was both rugged and sensitive, and he was unafraid to take risks and try new things. Darren's influence can also be seen in the way he inspired future generations of actors. Actor and director Joe Mantegna, who worked with Darren on the TV series Criminal Minds, had this to say about him James Darren is a true professional and a class act. He brought a sense of warmth and humanity to every role he played, and he was always a joy to work with. In addition to his acting career, Darren also had a successful singing career with several hits in the late 1950s and early 1960s. His music was characterized by its smooth, easy listening style, which was a departure from the rock and roll music that was popular at the time. Overall, James Darren's contribution to the film and television industry is significant. His ability to adapt to new roles and his willingness to take risks helped to shape the industry and inspire future generations of actors. His coolness and charm continued to be a source of inspiration for many, and his legacy lives on in the many films and television shows he left behind. In the classic Gidget films, only one actor appeared in all three, always playing the same character James Darren. He starred as Jeffrey Matthews, sharing the screen with Sandra Dee. Years later, following Dee's passing, Darren appeared on Larry King Live, sharing his admiration for her. He admitted to having a crush on Dee during filming, but was unable to get close to her due to her mother's protective presence. Apart from Gidget, Darren also showcased his talents in The Guns of Navarone. During a wedding celebration scene, he sang Yalo Yalo, a traditional Greek folk song about love and the sea. The second verse, sung by Darren, was likely improvised, asking the mountains to bow down so he could see his beloved Anula and his faraway home, Rahula. His heartfelt performance added depth to the film's cultural experience. James Darren, an actor known for his work in film and television, values his family and privacy deeply. He was born in 1936 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and has two children from his marriage to actress Gloria Terlitsky. Darren prefers to keep his personal life out of the public eye, focusing on his work and family. In addition to his acting career, Darren is also a musician and singer. He has released several albums and performed in various venues, including Las Vegas. Music has been a lifelong passion for Darren, and he enjoys sharing his talent with others. Darren is also passionate about giving back to his community. He has been involved in various philanthropic efforts throughout his career, including supporting children's hospitals and cancer research. Darren has been a longtime supporter of the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, which works to find cures for childhood cancers and other life-threatening diseases. The actor's personal values and interests have often informed his work. For example, in the 1960s TV show The Time Tunnel, Darren played a scientist and engineer, reflecting his interest in technology and innovation. In the 1990s show Touched by an Angel, Darren played a musician, allowing him to showcase his musical talents. Darren's enduring legacy in the entertainment industry is a testament to his versatility and talent.
His work has resonated with audiences for decades, and his philanthropic efforts have made a positive impact on many lives. Whether on screen or stage, Darren continues to captivate audiences with his charisma and talent. As you look back on James Darren's career, you can't help but be impressed by the range and depth of his work. From his early days as a teen idol to his more recent roles as a director and singer, the actor has always brought a certain charm and charisma to the screen. One of Darren's most iconic roles was as the smooth talking moondoggy in the classic Digit films. With his surfer boy good looks and easygoing charm, he quickly became a heartthrob for millions of young fans. But Darren was more than just a pretty face. He proved himself to be a talented singer, releasing several successful albums in the 1960s. He also showed his acting chops in a variety of dramatic roles, including his turn as a troubled cop in the TV series TJ Hooker. Over the years, Darren has continued to work steadily in both film and television, earning the respect and admiration of his peers and fans alike. His contributions to the entertainment industry are certainly worth celebrating, and his legacy is sure to endure for generations to come. So, what do you think about James Darren's work and legacy? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and be sure to like and share this post with your friends. And if you're not already a subscriber, be sure to hit that button to stay up to date on all the latest content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment.